Hey, what's up, Alpha Gang? I feel like it's been a long time since we've gotten together for a video. Uh, last one, of course, we did. We threw on the rigid collars on the car. Um, since then, I also had some uh, front canards added to the car um, that Excess Company actually installed for me as well when I was at the shop doing some maintenance um, and just working on camber for track days and, and trying a new setup this year. Um, so that's where I'm actually heading right now. We're gonna meet up with uh, Excess Company and then we're gonna head out to the track. Um, as it's the first track day or lapping event of the season with uh, Speed Freak. So for the first lapping event, it's nice. Um, spectators are free, so uh, it's it's pretty cool. Today I'm not racing. I'm just gonna go check out the action, say hi to a few people, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. And uh, we will see you there. So I just got to Excess. Gonna meet up with the boys. Uh, I see the S2000s are out, <laughs> so maybe they're tracking those cars today. But yeah, they're looking good. Summers are here, hopefully. And a little Miata. Carl, I see your Civic. She's getting supercharged. Be pretty cool when this guy's done with his car. Stratotech and people are just rolling in now. So crazy story about that uh, owner with the S15. Um, I thought he looked familiar and I actually, I, the first thing I asked was like, hey, did you know uh, like a Jeff, which was like one of my friends from way back in the day. And uh, after we put it together, I realized that he had an S14 before this white S15. Um, his name is Steve, super nice guy. He's a big ass chassis guy, but uh, it was crazy. I haven't seen the guy for probably maybe 10 to 15 years or something and then once we connected we completely remembered who each other were so it was kind of cool to see him at the track and of course he comes here pretty regularly so i'm sure i'll see more of him and more of that s15 super clean um but yeah it's uh it's been a pretty good day here catching up with people and stuff like that and checking out some of the racing in the cars so yeah let's see what else is out here
Beckham came to join me today for uh, some good old dinner of champions on the way home. It's actually a really nice sunset. So yeah, we're going to grab a bite and then uh, we'll see in a little bit. So I just got home, um, had a good, uh, good little dinner or a snack, I guess, on the way home. Just I was, I was starving, so I was like, oh, let's hit up McDonald's. So we cruised down there. Um, but the whole experience, every time I go to the track, it's always a good experience. Um, it's always good vibes. Um, everybody there, it's, you know, you don't have all the BS of like some of the car meets these days where people are just trying to show off and, you know, which of course grabs the attention of cops and stuff like that. And of course, like with people doing burnouts or just revving their engines and stuff so maybe I'm just over it but um yeah so but at these track events I mean everybody just they want to talk about their cars um go over their builds and and it's just it's really easy to meet people um it's always a positive experience and it's it's cool too because I mean if you want to actually take your car out not just go and spectate um which is relatively inexpensive there um at the speed freaks events um for their lapping days or their time attack um you can race there as well too if you want if you want to uh, see what your car can do um so that's always that's always really cool i did not race of course today i just spectated but it was so cool everybody was so positive met a few new people um there's one kid with the rx8 um he was novice um so like it was like it almost like it was his first time there but he was quick like i was really surprised i had to talk to him i was like you were like pretty quick out there on the track but i guess he raced a bunch overseas um maybe in, in japan or something like that too so I, it definitely shows i guess at the track but um cool experience positive vibes um even on the way back everybody just like with all the head nods and, and thumbs up and stuff just as I was, I was cruising in the gen um and a lot of really nice nice cars too so and it was cool to catch up with people that i haven't seen in like you know 10 15 years so that was also really cool but um yeah if you ever get the chance or if you're in the edmonton area um yeah sign up for like one of the speed freaks events it's definitely worth it um lots of fun always a good time and uh yeah i'm sure if you see me there of course feel free to come up and say hi um but yeah uh thanks for sticking around for this video and we'll see you on the next one have a good one